It's the 1960s, and whilst you're busy twiddling with your knobs on your Etch-a-Sketch, ambitious plans are afoot to solve all of Greater London's traffic issues. Welcome to Britain's Abandoned Roads. The Ringway Scheme was an ambitious project that had some of its elements completed, but much of it not. In short, the plan was to build four large motorways in and around the capital. If you'd like to learn more about the Ringways project, then there's an absolutely wonderful video already out there by Jay Foreman. If you'd like to check that out, please do so. I shall wait. I don't have a watch. Now that you know all there is to know about the Ringways project, let's crack on. Today, we start at the M23 in Surrey, which you'll notice just sort of stops for no apparent reason. The original plan would have seen the motorway head north and connect up with one of the soon-to-be-built Ringways roads. However, following cancellation of the project, they just sort of stopped building. So we're interested in a short bit of motorway that comes off the current M23 and, as I say, just sort of mysteriously stops. Having a look around, there isn't really much by way of street furniture, but then I guess by the time the cancellation announcement was made, they downed tools and that was that. Part of the infrastructure they did complete was two bridges. One of them sits within a highway maintenance depot area, and the other is where I am now, sits slightly further north. And to be honest, if you weren't looking, you wouldn't even know it's here. It seems to be very much hidden in the trees. Other than a microphone cable, you can see that this is where the central reservation would have originally been placed. This isn't the only example of infrastructure that's been left over from the Ringways project. Let's switch over now to the M40 near Denham. Have you ever noticed this road that you can't access just off the Denham roundabout on junction one of the M40? Probably not, but here it is. When the ringway scheme was introduced, the plan was for the Denham interchange to link up to ringways number three, also known as the M25. The interchange where today's M25 and M40 meet is actually a kilometer up the roads from where I am. The intention was for that junction to be right here. This of course didn't happen after the cancellation of the ringways project. So the Denham roundabout and the slip road arrangement was redesigned into what we know today, which leads us to this about and slip road. During that process, they actually realigned and moved some of the roads around to build the roundabout, etc. And the end result was this slip road was no longer required. It does currently link from the Denham roundabout up to the motorway, but there is no access to it and I believe no intention of actually using it for traffic. If you have any suggestions for any abandoned roads that we should go and check out, be sure to comment and do let us know. And if you could hit the subscribe and like buttons for me, that would really make my day indeed. I've been John, this is Auto Shenanigans. You've been watching Britain's Abandoned Roads. Thank you very much indeed. I shall see you guys next time for another exciting episode. Mm -hmm.